Yeah, this, actually we, we're finding the best of the best components for reconstruction. There'll be uh, nine spans rebuilt. Bridge construction and maintenance costs the economy millions of dollars annually and can have significant social and environmental impacts. Ironbark Demolition Proprietary Limited has been working in the demolition industry for many years, specialising in the deconstruction of road bridges, rail bridges and buildings. The company is licensed to work in both Queensland and New South Wales, predominantly for state and local government, but also other companies based in both states. Ironbark Demolition's main aim is to maximise recovery of recyclable materials in order to reduce waste going to landfill. One objective is to only send non-recyclable waste to landfill. Through deconstruction projects with careful management, Ironbark Demolition believe waste should be reduced and contained and where possible recycled, and this is the way of the future. Ironbark Demolition currently employs a qualified and competent demolition team who have created safe methods of handling to limit any effect to the environment during the deconstruction of these structures. The company is up to date in issues regarding timber contamination and have processes in place to avoid such contaminants making their way into fragile ecosystems. Our company has links to hardwood recycling sawmills based in New South Wales and Queensland and often have requests to supply remilled timbers from a deconstruction site in order to promote heritage and environmental awareness to an area or region. In the 21st century, it appears that recycling of materials plays a significant part in deconstruction. We asked Greg Taylor, Managing Director of Ironbark Demolition Proprietary Limited, how important is recycling and what role does it play in the costing of future projects? My, my target is zero landfill, uh, which we have achieved on, on quite major projects. Uh, there's a few items that, that have to be landfill, for example, bonded asbestos, but um, we can even, our, our rubbish timber can be used, it's not landfill. Um, every, every component of a bridge in particular, or even a building, uh, we, we make sure that it doesn't end up in landfill uh, through, through various initiatives and um, contacts that we have that can recycle virtually or most products. And we, we, I think we average a, a, a landfill component of 4% across the board. Uh, one of our, well, our biggest project to date, we, have, we actually had zero landfill. Ironbark Demolition's main aim is to recycle and maximise recovery of recyclable materials in order to reduce waste going to landfill. The objective is to only send non-recyclable waste to landfill. In most of our projects, this non-recyclable waste could be as low as 4%. Demolition is a broad description for dismantling older civil and engineering projects. Greg, what type of work is Ironbark Demolition interested in and why? Very interested in anything we can recover and recycle where there's a challenge. Um, I, I don't personally like any time constraints where there's no time to recover materials and just have to um, uh, crush and dispose. Um, I'm not interested in that, but maximum recovery, a, I like working with my pie charts and I like to see the smallest piece of cake um, is waste either unrecyclable or un unusable and uh, th that's always a challenge to me which I really enjoy and uh, whether it be bridges, road or rail which we specialise in but we also like um, any other major structures which can have a, quite a lot of recovery for example um, factories, big sheds, we, we would actually um, dismantle them so they can be re-erected re on, on, on another place and uh, we've done quite a lot of that as well. Ironbark Demolition is interested in all demolition projects throughout Australia but we specialise in both timber, steel and concrete road and rail bridges. There is the potential to recycle most elements of demolition waste. Rubble can be crushed and reused. Waste wood can also be recovered and recycled. Even pipes, wire and cables are recyclable, along with the better known commodities such as steel and concrete. 
Recycling is an important tool, particularly in relation to the environment, but equally important in the reuse of product that can be directly applied to other projects, reducing both cost and waste. Government or local authorities often make rules about how much waste should be sorted before it is hauled away to landfills or other waste treatment facilities. Some hazardous materials may not be moved or demolition begun before the authorities have ascertained that safety guidelines and restrictions have been followed. Among their concerns would be the proper handling and disposal of such toxic elements as lead, asbestos or radioactive materials. Demolition work is a complex business involving extensive environmental and safety issues. We asked Greg to describe to us some of those issues and what effect they have on his work. We'll start with environmental issues. Uh, they can have a, a bearing on, on the way the whole job is done. Uh, we, we may have to design special containment screens. Uh, we might have floating devices. Uh, some jobs in particular, we just cannot drop any material at all in the water. Um, and we can also sometimes tie the environmental issues in with our safety um, management plan and we can uh, also use some of our um, screenings, etc. for access, which would normally be done via a crane or a man basket. Um, we can have them certified to gain access to various parts of, of the bridge. Ironbark Demolition specialise in the deconstruction of bridges. There are a large number of environmental issues and concerns to comply with working over waterways. Ironbark Demolition is always properly resourced with personnel and equipment so we can comply with environmental legislation. Depending on the, um, on, on the job and the task and particularly uh, what, what environment the bridge may be in. Um, we, we could, for example, have uh, mangroves and, and we may not be able to go outside of the bridge footprint, which uh, can also have an effect on the way we can uh, deconstruct the bridge. And we've also, with, uh, we may not be able to even drop anything hot in the water because it, it could heat the water up to, uh, to affect the fish. So we've also got the devices to keep any hot bolts from uh, falling into the water. We have an environmental management plan and some site specific issues covered in the plan are boundaries for vegetation clearing, importance of any trees of significant value, location for waste bins, washing, refuelling and maintenance of vehicles, plant and equipment. We always have spill kits on hand and use bio oil in our plant. Workplace health and safety is a major concern with demolition work. Greg, how complex is this issue? And is it a major contributing factor to the cost of deconstruction? Uh, it's paramount. If we can't do it safely, we just don't do it. So um, obviously that's even at the, uh, at the tender stage, we have to take this into account. Uh, we quite often have uh, engineers involved. We have, uh, we'll often contact either WorkCover New South Wales or Workplace Health and Safety Queensland. If we have an issue or we have a, have a, a query that, that, that we've come upon that we haven't encountered before, uh, we have to keep up to date with all the legislation which continually changes. Uh, but, but actually enjoy it as a challenge. We, we've actually uh, constructed quite a lot of, uh, or fabricated a, a lot of components one-off just, just for one project to make the job safe. And just, just one-off, one in mind would be a cage to keep the crocodiles from the divers in Cooktown. WHS is a major concern and Ironbark Demolition is committed to supplying the highest standards of safety for all personnel. We promote and maintain safe work practices within all aspects of our operations. Ironbark Demolition is a mid-size Australian company specialising in the demolition or deconstruction of bridges right across the country. The company is based in Boona, South East Queensland and has a strong reputation with its peers, past clients and potential users. More recently Ironbark Demolition deconstructed the iconic Hornybrook Bridge just south of Redcliffe, Queensland. 
Ironbark has a demolition licence in Queensland and New South Wales, and we have demolition competent persons on staff. We have a qualified and very competent demolition team. Ironbark Demolition has been working in the industry for many years, and we have a good reputation with our clients. We work together with diving companies and crane companies for major deconstruction projects. The bigger the, the job, the task, the better. We always like a challenge. I uh, would pre prefer not to do something that had a, a time constraint where we, where we had to um, unfortunately landfill a lot of material. We would prefer not to do that, but uh, if we've given the time to particularly deconstruct that we can maximise our um, recovery and enjoy those more than anything. We're in constant communication with our clients in regards to any forecasted future projects. As mentioned earlier, one of the more recent jobs undertaken by Ironbark Demolition was the deconstruction of the Hornybrook Bridge. This bridge was built by M.R. Hornybrook between 1932 and 1935, was primarily of timber construction with concrete piers and headstocks, and at one stage was the longest viaduct bridge in the Southern Hemisphere, extending just under three kilometres in length. Greg Taylor explains how Ironbark Demolition won the job and successfully handled the complexity of environmental, heritage and safety issues. Uh, we were invited to price the demolition at pre-tender stage in uh, 2007 and after learning that uh, John Hull and the joint venture were the successful tenderers in the construction of the new Ted's Mount Bridge and also the demolition of the Hornybrook Bridge. Uh, over the next few years we were uh, in discussion with John regarding the methodology and the deconstruction of the bridge and uh, particularly the uh, environmental issues and safety issues which had to be addressed uh, prior to commencement. John Hull from Hull Album Joint Venture was the successful applicant in the tender for the new bridge construction with the Queensland State Government and that tender included the demolition of the existing Hornybrook Bridge. The work was completed in 2011. In addition to the Hornybrook Bridge, other major work carried out by Ironbark Demolition has included the demolition of the eight-span Endeavour River Bridge in Cooktown, the Karamba Bridge, eight-span 28-metre truss in Coffs Harbour, and the Gumbali Bridge at Burke, which was eight spans. In 2007, Ironbark Demolition deconstructed 128 railway bridges from Yuraka to Jericho near Blackhall. Prior to that was the Dangar Bridge, Walgett, a seven-span double truss with a length of 120 metres. Apart from bridges, we get involved with, uh, with the factory warehouse and also our company spent 15 months in Swanbank Power Station in the, uh, assisting in the deconstruction of a complete power station, which uh, I thoroughly enjoyed. In the past, demolition was a matter of large machinery and or manpower. In some ways this has changed and new tools are required to successfully complete work on time and on cost. Greg Taylor explains. Yeah, uh, we have a variety of uh, equipment that um, we can use. We do a lot of mechanical and, and manual dismantling or deconstruction, uh, particularly attachments we, we use and specify uh, for a specific job. Um, they can they enhance, quite often enhance the safety issues we may have with a particular job. Uh, we might even have something fabricated just, just for one project, which also can enhance the job both safety, environmentally and uh, economically make the, make the job um, better for everyone. The company will always change and update its methods and equipment as required. Available is a wide range of plant, including a telehandler, trucks and excavators with their various attachments which are specialised for demolition. Ironbark Demolition Proprietary Limited is constantly developing new methodology and cost effective ways to deconstruct bridges. The benefit of this forward thinking is stronger environmental outcomes, additional safety features, more efficient workforce and greater project cost savings. 
In today's demolition deconstruction market, time is of the essence, offering lesser disruptions and stronger community outcomes. Ironbark demolition can be relied upon to deliver on contract, on time and on cost with a professional attitude and little fuss.